Hey guys, you're not going to believe the latest bombshell that fell on the DC Cinematic Universe. After much speculation, it seems that the first season of Peacemaker will not be considered canon in the new DCU. That's right, James Gunn and his team are laying the groundwork for a turnaround, and we're here to unravel all the details of this unexpected change. Who's ready to find out what this means for DC's future in theaters? And will this decision affect other productions in the DC universe? Let's dive into this discussion and unpack what's to come. But before continuing, remember to subscribe to the channel and like the video to stay updated. Surprisingly, the most successful thing DC has ever had with its cinematic universe was not one of its films, but in this case, Aquaman, which made a billion dollars, and maybe the first Wonder Woman, which all underperformed. Some even made money, but they haven't reached their full potential. But Peacemaker... A series that I admit I thought was a stupid idea, and I admit it looked pretty bad when they released the first trailers, but I admit that it's really one of my favorites today. It was perhaps the best thing they did aside from Man of Steel, and it became the number one series in the world while it was on the air. So it wasn't a big surprise when James Gunn and Peter Safran announced a new season of Peacemaker in the new DCU. But how would Peacemaker fit in? And how do you reconcile these big differences between the old universe, the DCU, and this new DCU universe? Well, apparently the answer was something I hadn't thought of. The first season of Peacemaker will not be part of the new DCU. This comes from some people at CBR who wrote the following on the forums. James Gunn has stated that the first season of Peacemaker is not part of the DC universe. He also told a curious fan that the second season will take place after the events of the next Superman movie. When another fan asked if the events of Superman would impact the second season of Peacemaker, the filmmaker replied that they would. So let's talk about that for a second. That I didn't expect to be honest because James Gunn has always said that if you look at the events of the first season of Peacemaker, they're kind of separate from the DCU as a whole. The only thing you really needed to adjust to fit it into the new DCU was that little cameo at the end of the first season where Aquaman, Flash, and the silhouette of Superman and Batman appeared in one of the best lines on TV that year. Are you Barry? All you really had to do was remove that, remove the ending, and you could argue that it didn't actually happen in the DCU, but in some DC universe. But what I really didn't think they would do, and James Gunn is saying this, is that we're simply going to say that the first season is not part of what's happening in the new DCU. Then someone might ask, why not do it with Wonder Woman? Why not do it with Gal Gadot's beloved Wonder Woman? Why not say that the old Wonder Woman stuff isn't part of the canon, but can we bring her in anyway? Why not do it with Henry Cavill with Superman, where Henry Cavill too, everything he did in the first film didn't happen? Why not do it with Aquaman? Why not take advantage of the cast? Guys, comment down below if you agree that if it's a new universe, if it's a total reboot, then it would be better if James Gunn didn't bring anyone. Or do you think he decided right? Comment down below. Let's talk. I think James Gunn's Superman is all about the tone that he's going to set. If you look at Richard Donner's Superman, the first 30 minutes of the movie, especially the stuff in Smallville, is so iconic, and you hear the great John Williams score. I think James Gunn is going for that kind of tone, and when you look at Peacemaker, Peacemaker's tone, like, we love it, but it's totally different. And I don't know anything, I haven't read the script for the new Superman movie, but I think Peacemaker's tone is probably the complete opposite of what he's trying to do. Since a new universe is being established, there likely isn't room room for the tone of Peacemaker, at least not the old one. What James Gunn needs to do is perform his magic and show the viewers how everything will come together in a natural manner. In my opinion, I believe it needs to be fresh, unblemished, and devoid of any past connections. They're initiating something new, and if there were any links to the past, I doubt they would be as successful as they aim to be with their current project. So, the question is for you guys. What do you believe James Gunn actually stated? Should the second season of Peacemaker 
Joker comply with the comic canon or could it be an Elseworlds and continue with independent narratives? Leave your thoughts and queries in the comments. I would love to discuss the video's topics. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, share it and subscribe. Recommendations for upcoming videos are showing up above now. It makes absolute sense for you to watch them. I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later.